to use activity completion, it must first be enabled at the site level. To check whether activity completion is enabled, navigate to the site administration menu. Select Advanced Features. Navigate to Completion Tracking. Ensure Completion Tracking is enabled. Navigate to the course you wish to use Completion Tracking within. We must first set completion tracking at the activity level. To do this, navigate to the activity you wish to set completion tracking for and select Edit. Select Edit Settings. Open the Activity Completion drop down menu. From the Completion Tracking drop-down menu, select either Students can manually mark the activity is completed or Show activity is complete when conditions are met. By selecting Students can manually mark the activity is completed, students will have a checkbox that they can mark to indicate that they have completed the activity. By selecting Show activity is completed when conditions are met, you can set specific criteria which must be met in order for the learner to complete the activity. As this particular activity is a chat session, the only criteria available is for the student to have viewed the activity. You can set this as the criteria by selecting the checkbox. Additionally, you can set an expected completion date by selecting Enable and the date that you prefer. Once you're happy with the settings, select Save and Return to Course. Let's take another look at completion tracking using the forum. Select Edit, Edit Settings. Open the Activity Completion drop down menu. From the Completion Tracking drop down menu, Select Show Activity is Complete when Conditions are Met. I now have the option to set the conditions for activity completion. As this is a forum, I would like to set a condition that the student must post one discussion or reply in order to be marked as complete for this activity. I'll also set an expected completion date. Once you're happy with the activity completion settings you have created, select Save and Return to Course. So far in my course, in order to have the activity be completed, my learners must view the chat session and post a discussion or reply on the forum. Additionally, I would like all learners to receive a particular grade in the quiz prior to completing the course. To set this completion setting, from the Edit drop-down menu, select Edit Settings. From the Activity Completion drop-down menu, select Show Activity is Complete when Conditions are Met. Select the criteria you would like to associate with the Activity Completion. I would like to set a criteria that the student must receive a grade in order to complete this activity. Once you're happy with the settings you've made, select Save and Return to Course. Lastly, I'd like all learners to complete the course evaluation prior to completing this module. To set this criteria from the Edit drop-down menu, select Edit Settings. From the Activity Completion drop-down menu, Select Show Activity is Complete when Conditions are Met. The criteria I will set is View is Completed if the feedback is submitted. 
select Save and Return to Course. Lastly, I'd like to set a manual completion criteria for the OHS mock audit. To do this, from the Edit drop-down menu, select Edit Settings. From the Activity Completion drop-down menu, from the Completion Tracking drop-down menu, select Students can manually mark the activity as completed. Select Save and Return to Course. As the course evaluation is the last activity students will be completing, I'll move this to the bottom of my topic. Conditional activities allow you to restrict access to particular activities, resources or topics until specific criteria has been met. Conditional activities allow you to create learning pathways which learners must follow in order to complete a course. For example, you can set a conditional activity that a student must read a forum prior to attempting a quiz before submitting their feedback in order to complete a course. This is done using Restrict Access. In order to use Restrict Access, it must first be enabled at the site level. To do this, navigate to the Site Administration menu. Select Advanced Features. Navigate to Restrict Access. Ensure Restrict Access is enabled. Select Save Changes. The Restrict Access option will now appear with, within the Activity and Resource Edit Settings. Navigate back to your course. We can now set Restrict Access settings for individual activities. Let's see how Restrict Access works when applied to activities. From the Edit drop-down menu, select Edit Settings. The Restrict Access drop-down menu is now available. Select Add Restriction. You are able to choose from a range of restriction types. I'd like to set an Activity Completion restriction, so I'll select Activity Completion. From the Activity Completion drop-down menu, I'd like to select that the learner must have completed the question and answer session with a Workplace Health and Safety representative prior to posting in the forum. From the drop-down menu, you can select whether or not the learner must have or must not have completed the activity or whether they need to have received a particular grade. I'd like my learners to have been marked as complete, so I'll leave that as a setting. Once you're happy with the setting, Select Save and Return to Course. You can see that a message now displays that the activity is not available unless the question and answer session has been completed. I'd also like to make a restrict access setting that my quiz, that the quiz cannot be completed unless the learner has made a post on the forum. To do this, from the Edit drop-down menu, select Edit Settings. Scroll down to Restrict Access. From the Restrict Access drop-down menu, select Add Restriction. Select Activity Completion. Select the activity from the drop-down menu. As you remember, we have already set an Activity Completion setting that the learner must post on the discussion forum in order for the activity to be marked as complete. Once you're happy with your settings, Select Save and Return to Course. Lastly, I'd like to restrict access to completing the course evaluation until all activities have been completed. To do this, from the Edit drop-down menu, select Edit Settings. Navigate to Restrict Access. Select Add Restriction. 
select activity completion. Select the activity from the activity completion drop down menu. Once you're happy with the settings you have selected, select save and return to course. As you can see, we've now created a pathway that learners must follow in order to complete the course. First, the learner must participate in the chat session with the WHS representative. Then they, must then, they will receive access to the forum where they must make one post. Then, they are able to complete the introduction quiz where they must receive a passing grade. Then, they are able to complete the course evaluation. I can now configure my course completion settings. Course completion shows if a course has been completed and allows trainers and learners to track their progress towards completion. It is best thought of as a reporting function. Let's set up our course completion settings now. From the course administration menu, select course completion. From the completion requirements drop down menu, you can select the criteria that must be met in order for the course to be marked as completed. You have the option to select whether or not all conditions or any of the conditions are met. I'd like all conditions to be met. You now have the option to select the conditions for course completion. The conditions include activity completion, completion of other course, date, enrollment duration, unenrollment, course grade, manual self-completion, and also manual completion by others. For example, a teacher can mark the course as completed. I'd like to set completion criteria based on activity completion. From the activity completion drop-down menu, I can select the activities that count towards the course completion. From the Condition Requires drop-down menu, you can select whether all selected activities must be completed or any of the selected activities must be completed. I'd like all selected activities to be completed. Once you're happy with your settings, select Save Changes. You can view course completion from the Reporting menu, from Course Administration, Select Reports, Course Completion. This report allows you to track learners' progress through the course.